Hello friend, welcome to my channel 5 Minute Pediatric. Few days back I have posted question on Facebook. The question was 6 month old baby with a red dot over multiple red dot over upper eyelid. Mother told that 2 week of age it was of pinpoint size and slowly over time it increases. So what is the diagnosis and what are the treatment options available? So this is made for professional only. Okay. So the diagnosis, so we have this type of lesion, you will get uh, over uh, arm, over uh, face, over upper eyelid. So what you will do? Uh, this type of case are commonly you will uh, get in OPD. So this is a case of infantile hemangioma. There is a difference between infantile hemangioma, congenital hemangioma, angel, uh, angel cases or stork bite. So let's discuss infantile hemangioma. So infantile hemangioma, the age of appearance is two weeks. So it usually appear at two weeks of age as a red dot. Okay, it may be red or bluish. So during first five months, it rapidly grows. And after 12 months, it begins to regress. So by uh, four years of age, uh, involution ceases. So common complication, what you will get? Ulceration. So our treatment option available hai. Pahla option hai topical steroid ka. Okay, topical steroid mostly hum log us condition mein use karenge jo ki lesion superficial hona chahiye. Yadi deep skin mein hoga to ye badiya kaam nahi karega. Topical steroid humare paas hai topical timulol. So adverse effect skin hypopigmentation vagara ho sakta hai or even longer duration adrenal suppression vagara bhi dekha gaya hai next we have uh, intralesional corticosteroid okay intralesional corticosteroid usually best for less than 3 cm size ye bhi hai jo ki superficial lesion ke liye badhiya kaam karega triamcinolone most commonly hum log use karte hain usually 2 se 3 injection mein almost ye complete involute ho jata hai next option we have uh, systemic steroid therapy jo ki ye totally ab uh, propranolol mostly ab use hota hai iska most bahut hi zyada side effect hota hai lekin ab limited source jaise propranolol jab contraindicated hoga to usi condition hum log systemic steroid use karenge jaise ki asthma ka koi ho ya compromised health cardiovascular us condition mein hum log steroid ko use kar sakte hain lekin ab hai jo ki mostly hum log propranolol use karte hain propranolol the dose is 1 to 3 mg per kg per day in three divided dose for six to twelve months and uh, uh, gradually tapered every four weeks. So before uh, starting propanolol, we must rule out uh, or uh, we must uh, know its complete uh, its side effect. So we have to uh, un, um, we have to rule out cardiac disease. Uh, we have to rule out whether associated with glucose abnormality or not. Uh, Okay, uh, contraindication are bronchial asthma, compromised health, uh, cardiovascular system, bradycardia, hypotension. We should not use propranolol. Okay, next uh, we have laser therapy. Laser therapy ka mostly hum log use karenge jahan pe ulcerated infantile hemangioma hoga. Ye, ye bhi superficial ke liye hum log use karenge. Yadi size bahut bada ho, to early stage mein resection ka koi role nahi hota. Kyunki ye highly vascular tumor hai, the common complication is bleeding. So uh, the perfect age is three to four year of age. Uh, uh, we can go for resection. So we have angel kiss or a stork bite. Ye hamara wo uh, ye most common vascular newborn uh, vascular lesion in newborn ka jo ki thirty to forty percent infant mein milega. It uh, usually uh, appear as a flat pink macular lesion over forehead, upper eyelids, nasolabial fold. Glavella nape of egg. It also resolved by two year of age. So what is the difference between a stork bite and infantile tumor? The age of appearance. Okay. So mother usually noticed immediately after birth, the child is having some uh, vascular lesion in case of angel kiss or a stork bite. While in case of uh, infantile tumor, it usually appear uh, around two week of age. So if mother complains that the child is having this type of lesion usually after birth, so this is angel kiss or a stork bite. 
and if uh, mother complain that uh, the lesion appears around two week of age this is case of angel kiss uh, this is case of infantile hemangioma next we have port wine stain so port wine stain what we have it is also pinkish lesion that can affect any uh, area of integument and it do not involute mm, most commonly associated with starch bever syndrome okay so one other we have congenital hemangioma also so congenital hemangioma actually fully grown at birth it does not have postnatal growth so you can also differentiate okay this is uh, all about vascular lesion hope you enjoyed this video kindly like subscribe and follow my channel thanks thanks for watching